Welcome back to State of the Multiverse. This is a series of videos where we talk about what is happening in the world of multi-tools. Now, the big hot ticket item, as it were, is the Leatherman Arc. Now, you cannot buy this as of filming of this video. I was able to get one because I got a little word out that there was stock at REI where you can order direct from their warehouse if you are a member and have the item number, which we were able to get. So a number of people were able to purchase this early, but for according to REI, they will be listing this tool on their website on the 25th of September, which is why I said that in my unboxing video. It could be though, as late as the 18th of October, which is what a lot of people have been saying on Reddit and in other places as well. Somewhere between then is probably gonna be a release of the most expensive, Production Leatherman ever made, $230 this cost. Now for me, obviously this is a write-off, but for everyone else, I think it's gonna be a hard sell to some. That is not going to stop this tool from selling out. I promise you this will not only be gone, there's a chance that it could end up on the secondary market at a higher price point than MSRP. That is not what we wanna see coming out of a company that generally just makes tools for people that need it on a day-to-day but we're here. And so the Leatherman Arc is a direction that they're considering, and I think they are gonna end up getting rewarded for these sort of exclusive runs, unfortunately. It kinda is what it is. That does not stop them from potentially updating dedicated tools like the Surge, Super Tool 300, and Wave in the future, which they should because they are mainstays that most people depend on day to day. And they're in a much more respectable price point. You can almost get two Leatherman Waves for the price of one Leatherman Arc. Now, talking about Leatherman, there's another thing that's worth mentioning here. The OHT is back in stock for a limited time before it will be discontinued. As they say in the, in the email that I got, there's a thousand units left. So get them while you can if it's something that appeals to you. Frankly, I never really liked the OHT, but some people swear by them. So this is your last chance to get it before they go out. And the way it usually works with 25 year warranty is unless you mark it as sentimental, they will give you an equivalent tool, which I have no idea what the equivalent tool of the OHT would be, but that's how they work, repairs and so on. So just keep that in mind somewhere down the line, you might wanna mark it as sentimental so that they actually repair the OHT itself. All right, so in addition to it, what do we have for news? Not all that much, I'm gonna kinda leave it here. I do wanna mention though that there is a patent that I covered in this series about six months ago that involves a tool design that we have not seen yet. And it could be coming at potentially any time. And when I talked about it in that video, there was a number of features that I thought were really, really, really smart. They had a utility knife blade, a craft blade holder that worked in addition to carrying the micro driver. They had uh, longer implements that extended past the pivot, allowing them to be very long in a small compact package. It didn't appear to use a magnetic system, which is very interesting as well. So we could be seeing that at any time. And with the way Leatherman runs, it's gonna be silence up until the point of release, most likely. That's pretty much the state of the multiverse. Do you guys have any questions? Feel free to leave them down below and I'll be checking to see if there's anything I can answer there. As always, thank you for your time. I'll talk again soon.